welcome to the Komatsu booth at Mine Expo. We're coming to you live from the Komatsu truck bed studio right here in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Madison Alexander. Up next, we're getting a preview of some Komatsu in development capabilities to help our customers advance their safety and productivity goals. A remote operations demonstration. Take it away, Mike. Welcome to Komatsu, everyone. We appreciate you coming to see us here at Mine Expo, and we're excited to show you our latest offerings. Today's mining conditions drive you harder than ever to maximize efficiency by incorporating automation and to prioritize safety while meeting your business goals. Mining companies that have partnered with Komatsu are about to hit a new milestone, in fact, have hit a new milestone. We've moved more than four billion metric tons of material using Komatsu's front-runner autonomous haulage system. Your investment in the transition to AHS, the autonomous haulage system, proves the value of this system. For people looking at this industry from the outside, I think that they would be amazed at the level of technology that is actually uh, employed in the mining environment. The amount of resources that are being committed uh, to these new smart technologies is really just staggering. People would associate that with more advanced industries, but when you look at mining today, it is as modern as any industry anywhere in the world. Mining is hard uh, on both people and the equipment. The resources that the mining companies are extracting, it's getting more remote, deeper, uh, further away from where we live. So autonomous haulage solutions to a customer, I think, is two huge values that it brings. One is safety, uh, the other is in productivity. It's not only about removing the truck drivers from harm's way, the noise, the vibration, uh, the 12 hour shifts, um, it's, it's a really tough environment for the truck operator drivers. So taking them out of harm's way uh, and providing them with more challenging uh, jobs in a safer environment. In terms of productivity, uh, I think it's the same thing. The accuracy, the predictability, the repeatability of the autonomous haulage solution provides for a much more consistent haulage fleet. Ensuring that you get the most from our technologies is a hallmark of Komatsu. Our front-runner autonomous haulage system is currently deployed in 15 mines in four countries on three continents. In many developed countries like Canada, the United States, Chile, and Australia, where labor costs are relatively high and mining is done in remote locations, significant growth in autonomous operations is forecast over the next few years. And whether your focus is on increased productivity, asset utilization, or reducing costs, the end goal is always the same, to reduce the cost per ton of finished production. And that's really why autonomous has been such a driving force for us. To expand its development, we introduced our innovative autonomous haulage vehicle in 2016, with the goal of starting operations on a site in 2023. The innovative autonomous haulage vehicle is both a concept as well as a technology development platform. It's not only helping us better understand the advantages that a uh, four-wheel drive, four-wheel steer, shuttle drive uh, truck can bring to the mine, but also uh, the ways that we can assist a mine operator maximize the mine design. The innovative autonomous haulage vehicle uh, brings to the mine an ability to actually shrink the footprint of the mine itself, allowing more surface area to be mined. It's served for us a lot of purposes, and we see a long future for this type of technology going forward. Not only can autonomous operations assist you with your bottom line, it's also about a zero harm environment and reducing the number of operators you have on site. By moving people off-site, AHS isolates them from the physical risks of operating heavy equipment. Eliminating live work in dangerous sites isn't just about the hauling processes. For loaders that need to perform a variety of tasks during the loading process, you can move operators off-site using remote control technology. Our PC7000 hydraulic excavator teleoperation system is done through an immersive technologies console as you see here on the right with our man Jeff Davis at the controls. Wave to the audience, Jeff. 
It features all Komatsu genuine parts of the PC-7000. The setup is exactly the same as if the operator was in the cab itself. Visualization of the mining operation is essential to the operator, and this doesn't change in remote operations. So for Jeff to visualize the operation, we incorporate expertise of Komatsu technology brands, including modular mining and immersive technologies to provide enhanced capabilities. So he has the information and views that are as similar as possible to being on site and in the cab. All right, let's check in with Jeff and see if he's ready to go. Jeff ready to go? He says he's ready to go. All right, now he will remotely operate the PC-7000, which is at our proving grounds in Tucson, Arizona, which is 413 miles or 650 kilometers from here, where it will load our innovative autonomous haulage vehicle. Now, while the autonomous haulage vehicle returns on its own to the loading area, let's take a closer look at the teleoperation console itself. This console has everything the operator needs to see how the excavator is performing. You can see the network communication status to know the system is connected. There's the teleoperation status, so you know it's ready to go. And there's an inclinometer display to aid the operator to help ensure a level dig surface and eliminate excessive reworking of the shovel floor. On the side panels, we see the auto swing and dump status, payload management, and the tooth height of the bucket and the machine posture. To give the operator a clearer view of the operation, there's multiple cameras and sensors around the machine and work equipment. And the operator can see the bucket right in front of him as if you were actually in the cab. Now, before we start loading, Let's take a closer look at how some of the features of the PC-7000 and the teleoperation console work in unison to help the operator avoid slowing or stalling the bucket during the digging phase and help improve digging technique. The Dig Profile Assistant shows the profile of the teeth trajectory with the thicker spots showing that the bucket is slowing or stalling. Digging can be done efficiently while displaying the bucket teeth position and looking at the image of the bucket position. To avoid wear on work equipment and to alert the operator to a stall situation or high pressures, there's a display of the hydraulic supply pressure. Now on the screen, you'll see some red and green dots moving around. That's our stop position prediction showing where you can expect the bucket to stop in the swing. The green dot shows the real-time position of the bucket, while the red dot indicates where the bucket will stop. When the operator stops swinging, you'll see the green dot catch up to the red dot. Okay, now we will have Jeff demonstrate a couple of simple things with your input. We're going to do a countdown from five because it's terribly exciting, and when we get down to one, he will raise the boom. Count down with me in five, four, out loud, three, two, one. Jeff, raise that boom. There it goes. All right, now, should Jeff swing this machine to the left or to the right? To the right? I saw your eyes go to the right. All right, Jeff, swing that boom to the right. I couldn't hear you, so I had to go with your eye motion. All right, that's the simple stuff. Let's get to work. Now, you can see that the network connection is green. We also see the teleoperation status is on. That means we're ready to dig. Let's see it in action. As Jeff goes for his per first pass, watch the material fill the bucket just as Jeff does. He can see where he enters the material for the dig, the speed it's moving through the material and filling the bucket. So he gets the best of both worlds, quick filling of the bucket and exiting the material. And then the dumping is a quick stop and dump. And the shovel recognizes the position of the truck from the AHS PTX monitor, and it automatically spots the truck and the bucket in the correct position. And now we'll go for a second pass. Now you can see how the operator can maximize efficiency utilizing this technology. Again, on the right-hand panel, we have a tonnage readout of the truck. So as Jeff loads, he's watching that range to know that he has a productive pass. And then an auto swing and dump. And with three passes to fill this truck, every pass counts. 
All right, we'll take a pause here. How about a big round of applause for operator Jeff Davis? <laughs> Jeff is a 27-year uh, mining professional, 31 years with Komatsu, and we're glad to have him here running this de demo for us. Now, so far we've been focused on what's happened on the monitors and with the excavator. But there's so much more to how this system impacts your operations. So let's hear from David Haukinas from Komatsu Autonomous Systems. It's about the integration of process and data being fed into effective online coaching, as well as online real-time coaching for real-time operation improvements to production plans. Each loading shift is accumulated in the data, which is translated into productivity improvements, safety improvements, and running cost reductions. This data is incorporated into online real-time coaching and effective offline coaching. For real-time operation, Operator Assist with augmented reality technology provides enhanced operator performance, and information and data are shown to provide real-time operation improvement and real-time feedback to production plan. On the manager's or trainer's monitor, you can see the session report, a report of production results after each shift. You can also replay a video stream and assistance display of a past shift for training, showing operation errors with timestamps. We provide assessment results and turn those into high-quality, data-driven training in our training simulators, ensuring that trainees remain engaged and focused, helping you optimize the safety and productivity of your operators. Okay, now we're going to see some of that in action. The operator error analysis alerts the operator to any dangerous behavior or incorrect operational characteristics. So we'll have Jeff do something wrong to see how that works. Now one of the most common mistakes that happens is when the stick hydraulic limit is reached. When Jeff goes ahead and does that, Jeff go ahead and do that, you can see the notification pop up on the screen to alert him. This is part of that real-time feedback and training to help operators make every pass count. Now for the final pass, here's a few more things to watch for. Watch the auto swing control in action. After Jeff takes this third pass and does the swing and dump, when he does that, he's going to take his hands off the controls and you'll see that the swing and dump does it automatically. And as I mentioned, it's all automatic. Now you can see the teeth trajectory of the bucket. This gives the operator some depth perception to recognize where the bucket is in relation to the face. And if the previous load was a good one, he can see the profile was acceptable and pull the same trajectory for the next pass. Just one more tool to help maximize every pass. Practical innovation with verifiable results. That's what you can count on. Now you can come up and talk with Jeff at the console and get a closer look for yourself in a few minutes. We've also got some members of our newly integrated technology team here at the smart mining section of our booth. So you can talk to them about how you can start applying process optimization to critical functions such as payload management. And we have other members of our technology team at the modular mining booth behind me where you can explore complimentary offerings for enterprise-wide challenges. We're very glad you could join us here today. Please, don't hesitate to ask questions of our staff, touch the equipment, take some selfies, all part of the fun of being here. Thanks again for joining us at Komatsu. Thank you. What a transformative time we are in. It's amazing the level of technology that is now employed in the mining environment. Now there's so much more to see here at Komatsu's virtual event.